What you need, Henry, the fat controller told him, is an overhaul. Yes, sir, agreed Henry. Does that mean I've got to go away to crew again, sir? The fat controller laughed. Not this time, he said. You won't believe this, Henry, but nowadays the people at crew couldn't do the work you need. Henry stared, and the fat controller laughed again. Don't worry, he said. We can do everything at my works. All I have to do is get you there. If James takes the express tomorrow, went on the fat controller, we can couple you in front. Do what you can to help, and you can go to the works in style. Henry told James that night. Help me, James snorted. I don't need help. I can pull the express by myself, thank you. Overhaul indeed. Two engines on one train is an overhaul, if you ask me. But the fat controller had already made the arrangements, so there was nothing James could do about it. Next morning, James backed onto the coaches in the big station. Henry followed and was coupled in front. James was not in the best of tempers, but when the fat controller came to see them off, James tried not to show how cross he was. Good luck, Henry, said the fat controller. The people at the works know what to do, so you won't be there too long. James and Bear will take turns with the express when Gordon is busy. The express only stops once before it reaches the other railway, and that is at the work station. Because of his leaky smoke box, Henry could not help very much, but he saved his hardest effort for Gordon's Hill. engines raced up it faster than they'd ever done. When they reached the top, James was feeling better. That was fun, he said. We might even be early at the workstation. We shall need extra time to uncouple you anyway. James spoke too soon. They had just crossed the viaduct when Henry felt something wrong with one of his wheels. Something's wobbling, he told his driver. Just then they both heard a cracking noise. Ouch! exclaimed Henry. Whatever it is, I think it's broken. In the station, something hit the platform. Ow! exclaimed James. Henry might need mending, but he needn't throw his broken bits at me. 
Just then, James and his driver heard Henry whistling to warn them that he wanted to stop. More bits and pieces flashed by, some hitting the carriages. Using the brakes skillfully, the drivers stopped the train. While the guard made sure that the train was protected behind, James's driver went to see if any passengers had been hurt by the flying debris. No one had, but one of the carriage windows was broken. Henry's crew inspected his wheel. The trouble was not hard to find. Your wheel has a steel rim called a tyre, Henry's fireman told him. It has broken and come off. It's a miracle it didn't do more damage. James pushed Henry into a siding and went back to the train. An overhaul, is it? It sounds as if you need retiring, you poor old thing. He guffawed loudly at his own wit and puffed away. Henry smiled to himself. I don't know about retiring, he chuckled. I certainly feel tired. <laughs> 